And welcome to H.O. Clemens Arena. We are set for the opening tip. The Lady Lions of UAPB set to take on the Tigers of Grambling State. The Lady Tigers and the Lady Lions, we are underway here. From this Saturday night here, University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, I'm Tim Stubbs. Glad to be with you once again. Lady Lions opening possession here. Bruton drives her way in the lane, gets her shot blocked. The stick back's not gonna go. And three chances at it, and Lady Lions prevail that time. That was Shantae LaHarris keeping it alive. And Destiny Bruton scoring the first two for the Lady Lions. So two nothing here in the game's opening minute. Trying to get it inside, a shot is blocked by Shantae LaHarris here on the run out. Ohanta is gonna go all the way and she's fouled. Two shots coming up for Faith Ohanta. As she gets her chemistry back with the ball club, that's gonna be a key factor for the Lady Lions as they are due for a victory, trying to get back on the winning track. First shot coming up for Faith is good. One more coming up for Ohanta, 5'11 senior out of Houston, Texas. And she makes both. Lady Lions up 4 nothing. Shakila Hill bringing the basketball up. Let's talk more about her in a moment. Trying to knife a pass in the lane. Good cut to the basket, but it blocked again. And it's gonna go to the Lady Lions. So Hanta will inbound it. UAPB leading 4-0. Good start so far for the Lady Lions. And picked and stolen. And there's Shakila with the easy layup after the steal. Shakila Hill. She will definitely do that. She is the star of this Grambling State team, a junior out of Little Rock. She had a rare quadruple double earlier in the season, scoring in double figures, rebounding in double figures, assisting in double figures, and also steals in double figures all in one game, a rare feat. And the jumper is going to go there for Kylis, uh, for Monisha Hill. And quickly, we are tied up for a piece. Bruton, kick out, and Muhammad's fouled. John Taylor Harris. Seven fifty-five to go here in the first. Shot no good. Rejected that time. Big shot blocked by Gideon. But the Lady Lions will reset it, and they're going to have to take a look at the shot clock to see if it reset. Tyrese Boone now joining me here courtside. Yeah, had. A Heck of a time fighting a parking spot, tell you that much. That's why you show up an hour early to all these sorts of uh, affairs, especially a Grambling uh, Golden Lion game. Shantae LaHarris right side to Muhammad, and they'll set it up top of the key here to Bruton. Seven to shoot. Harris faces the basket this time. Wants to drive, and again, Gideon, the third block for her early on here. She is throwing a block party. Yeah, no one else is invited but her. <laughs> exactly. You know, it was a brick wall down low, and she's a big part of it. And they're going to have to find a way around her. With one on the shot clock, they just get it off to Harris, but she misses the bunny inside. You got to make those when you get the open look like that. Yeah, that's a travel. Lions catch a break there on that call. 
No Euro step in Pine Bluff tonight. <laughs> this is America, man. Ohanta, she wants to go deep with it, and she will. Taylor, the run out and the layup. That's a great game plan to face off the, to counteract the pressure that's been uh, keeping them at bay for a lot of their season. And it seems like they've been able to game plan around it. Great job by the coaching staff of the Golden Lady Lions. In the corner, firing up the three and hitting is Jasmine Boyd. Open look seven, in the wing there. Seven six timeout. Nate Kilbert wants to talk it over for the Lady Lions. Didn't like the wide open look there in the corner as there was a little bit of a breakdown defensively. And just a moment ago, uh, Tyrese, we mentioned Shakila Hill for Grambling State, a rare quadruple double a few games back. I believe she had 20 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 steals all in the same game. She's a junior out of Little Rock, but playing for Grambling. So, yeah. so I mean, try to stick it to the old club, uh, the old hometown club, if you will, tonight. That's exactly, you know, that's exactly what I was thinking. And also, that's very impressive. You never really see all that often a quadruple double and so that's that's one of those things that you have to look at as a coaching staff to see what you can do to counteract and plan around Shakira Hill so hopefully hopefully they've done so they've kept them at base so far but it's a matter of time before she starts heating up and you want, you want to watch out for that you'll see a quadruple double every once in a while if the last category is turnovers <laughs> I'm a big LeBron James fan, but last night he had a quadruple double. But the last stat was 11 turnovers. Yeah, but you know, the, the first three stats were a classic LeBron. But you know, but the turnovers, turnovers will happen. Yeah. Tur you know, turnovers. You know, when you're a passing guard like LeBron is, you're going to run into that problem once every once in a while. So but to do it with 10 steals to boot is uh, quite a feat. Yeah, you know, making up for the lost lost time. Here is Bruton. She is pushing the basketball off the glass, no good, and it's going to result in a foul on Taylor, who got the offensive board with 6.50 to go here in the first period. 7 to 6, our score, Grambling State leading UAPB by one, and at the foul line, it's going to be Noel Taylor, a 5'9 sophomore guard out of Fairfax, Virginia. Well, excellent move there, getting the offensive rebound. She's not the tallest one down low, but she'll get the job done. And so she got the rebound, was able to go up strong and get her opportunities at the line. Missed the first and too strong on the second. Look at Harris doing work and then got it taken away. So here comes Grambling after the offensive board and then the steal. Early on in this one, Grambling shooting 60%, three of five. They missed one there. Offensive rebound, they'll reset it. Been one of the downfalls of the Lady Lions, the offensive rebounds. They've been giving up them too much of them. Blocked again by Harris. So Harris for Pine Bluff and Gideon for Grambling. Being several blocks early on here. Being really stalwart down below. And that's exactly what you need from your fives in that position. They both have three blocks apiece, and we're only four minutes into the game. It, Jumper off the mark from Bruton. Didn't like that shot, she kind of rushed it. Had time to set up for it, and she didn't do so. Inside, good look, but missing the shot was the, Coleman. The intimidation factor being a huge thing. Down low, trying to avoid getting stuffed again. Nice pass, Harris again, though. A point blank miss. Gotta make those. Yeah, trying to use the backboard. Tough jumper on the baseline, well contested, no good. Taylor the board and Bruton with a little bit of pressure by Hill. Now picks up her dribble, needs some help. Ohanta went to spin and she was fouled. We got five new Lady Tigers coming in here. And one Lady Lion, it's gonna be number 14, Alicia or Ashley Daniel, rather, and taking a seat for the first time. It's going to be Shantae LaHarris, but she did some work while she was in there. Excellent job by Mohammed her. Mohammed with steps. 
Excellent job by Harris. She did a great job. She did her job, which was to keep the inside from being overrun. And she's done an excellent job of that. It had an intimidation factor and was able to afford make them make take back shots. Top of the key, they'll set it up here. Five minutes to go, long three attempt, and off the mark, out of bounds with the air ball, no good. And I don't have a 25 on my roster here for Gramley. Story of our life, isn't it? So she's lucky she didn't get her name called out from that <laughs> air ball. <laughs> but I will be listening because I'm sure the PA and official scores table will have the proper the name that I don't have. Bruton picks up her dribble, needs help. And they caught her for steps. I thought maybe she passed it before the step, but didn't get the benefit of that. So the turnover is going to give it back to Grambling as they lead UAPB by one, four and a half to play first period. Pull up 15 footer, no good. Rebound, Taylor again. Look out from behind. Muhammad wants to go all the way. She's fouled. Great job by Muhammad to force that foul, foul on the fast break. He had to, they had to foul him to avoid the easy bucket. And giving up the lead now. First shot for Muhammad is no good. Lady Lions missing their last three attempts from the foul line here. We've been stuck on this score for some time. And that's, you know, you can credit that to good defense. You can also credit that to Possibly some questionable shot selection. Second one goes, we're tied at seven. 4.20 to go here in the first. In the corner to Williams. Puts it on the floor. Reach in foul is gonna be called on Kai Richardson. Richardson did have a shot available to her, but she decided instead to take it to the hole. Didn't get the shooting foul she probably wanted, but still. Open look on the jumper and hits. Ray Taylor. Taylor had an excellent shot there. She took advantage of it. Richardson will set it up out high. Backdoor cut, nicely executed, Ohanta to Noel Taylor. That's that diamond play. You have that five in the middle, and you just feed it to her, and she'll distribute it from there, and that's a great job on the backdoor cut. Now a steal by Taylor. All the way off the glass, too strong. And reach in foul is going to be caught on the Lady Lions here. But several missed opportunities right at the basket. Yeah, they've been missing a lot of those, and I really... I really don't like that as an execution factor. That's probably why we're still at this lead. They've probably been up by six or seven uh, if they were able to make some of these easy opportunities or at least draw fouls off of them. Wholesale substitution again. Five new Lady Tigers in. The drive by Hill. Dump off to Gideon. In and out. Offensive board. Stick back no good. And Daniel in there. Tying it up on the rebound. It's going to stay with Gramling. Great job. Great hustle there. Trying to get that defensive rebound. But the offensive rebound game, uh, the defensive rebound game, I mean, for the Lady Lions have been struggling so far. Long three off the glass. Way too strong. No good. Another tie up. No, we're going to have a reach in foul instead. This one's going to be on Justice Coleman. Bit of a ticky tack foul there, but, you know, this is not against us, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> True. 310 to play here in the first. We're tied at nine and bonus time for the Lady Lions. That's the sixth team foul already on, or five rather now, on Grambling. Richardson will shoot two shots. First one is no good. So Lady Lions struggling from the foul line outside of Ohanta making those first two. That's like four for one in the past yeah, five, isn't it? I mean, one for four. Yeah, got to get better. I'm going to call a lane violation. So wave off the free throw. That so did go in. Another empty 
trip there. One for five so far in the past six, and it's not looking good at the line. Hill thought about the step back jumper, now gets it right side, three in and out, no good by Nil, and Ohatsa clears the board. She'll push it ahead. Daniel back to Ohanta. Nice step through there. Beautiful step through that bound by Ohanta. She's got four as she continues to find her rhythm again. Coach Kilbert starting to get players back and trying to find team chemistry. Really liked their practices the past couple of days and Looks to play better tonight as the turnover is going to give it back to UAPB. 11 to 9. Lady Lions with the ball up by two. El Hassan in the game as Harris jumps to the scorer's table. She'll check in in a moment. Richardson, right side, wide open. Three will not go. Yeah, for offensive rebound, though. Yeah, offensive board. Trying to kick it. Not sure if she was throwing it back out to Totten or not, but Daniel got a hand on it and then I believe three seconds in the lane. Harris back in for Pine Bluff and Ohanta will take a seat. Ohanta did an excellent job while she was in. Now Harris has time to do work. Good hands by Richardson. Knocks it out of bounds. Excellent job by Kai Richardson, able to get her hands on that ball. A little bit lazily kicked out, and she took advantage of it. Tend to shoot here for Gramling. Nice dump off, up and under, off the glass, and good for Monisha Neal. Great ball movement by the Tigers this time around. I want to say hello to our YouTube viewers from who knows, maybe Timbuktu? Across the pond. Maybe. You All never know. around the world, who knows? But I know we have a lot of family and friends of our players and alumni that watch and- Hi, mom. And say hello. <laughs> so the turnover's gonna give it back to Grambling with 113 to play as we're tied at 11 here. It's been an excellent hard-nosed defensive ball game and they've been really struggling Pun points have been coming out of premium and so there's a wonder how they're going to take advantage of it three will not go for grambling and atrocity totten is going to get called for steps as she was flying up the court with a basketball you know one thing i've noticed when they've been getting the ball back off of a miss they've been looking for someone to give the ball off to I mean, either someone has to step back for them, they're just going to have to go ahead and take it themselves. The hesitation is costing them fast break opportunities. Lady Lions showing a little bit of pressure here on the inbound, but not sure what the holdup is. Something with the clock, they reset it at 53 officially. I think there was even more on that, and <laughs> we're not going to complain about it. And he'll being harassed by Richardson. Boy, those two, four in white and five in gold, are very quick. And a block by Daniel from behind on the floor with it. And there's Richardson. She'll scoop it up and go the other way. Scrappy play there. Totten, quick trigger, missed it. Offensive board, El Hassan, back to Totten. And she's off the mark early. Nice hold now. Shot clock is off. El Hassan hits the runner just outside of the lane, and the Lady Lions lead by two. With their first lead of the game or second, either way, it hasn't lasted long either way. They jumped out 4 nothing, and then it's just kind of been real tight for both teams since then. A little floater in the lane by Hill, no good, or stick back, no good, and that's the end of one. 13 to 11, the Lady Lions of UAPB lead it over Grambling State. Back with more in a moment.
amazing rendition of Snoop Dogg's hit yeah, done the by the M4 there. The M4 pep band here tonight. Uh, maybe high school night here. We have a lot of high school showing lot. up. Yeah, absolutely. And it will be packed in here come an hour or so from now. A big game coming up later with UAPB and Grambling State men's action as Harris scores again, the lead up to four, but the Golden Lion men's team as the bank shot goes in for Grambling, off to a 7-0 start. Seven game win streak and undefeated so far in conference play, but Grambling State will not be overlooked here tonight as they've knocked off Jackson State, handing the Tigers their only loss so far and beating Texas Southern as El Hassan hits the three from the right side. So that's coming up a little bit later. And it should be a good one. The Lady Lions up by five here, 18-13 with 8.55 to go. Early second period, trying to get it down on the right block. Well defended by Harris and a double dribble, yes. That's excellent defense by the five girl, Harris doing work, putting the body on him. She added like a Shaq-esque move on, the one, on a couple of possessions ago. And you know, she's being dominant in the, in the lower post. And it's hard to deal with. Richardson poked away the last second there from behind, but there's Harris. Harris again doing work, man. Harris having a big first half. Four points to go with her three blocks. Again, look at Richardson, get on the floor. Scrappy get. play, and it's gonna go our way. And the hustle play by Richardson. The bench firing up now, Richardson's play inspiring to watch, to say the least. I mean, I love seeing it, the scrappy play, the down to the floor, get your elbows dirty a little bit. That's what you like to, that's what you like to see when you're a Golden Lions fan. Not so much if you're a Tigers fan. The all janitor team there, she was <laughs> Mopping the floor. Exactly. Where do you get these lines from? I, I, I love them. I love them. I'm, I might have to uh, get you like an anthology or something. <laughs> well, a timeout was called, I believe, by Grambling. I'm not sure it was. Was there time? Was for that time? a tie-up situation or a timeout called by Grambling? Was it a tie-up situation or a, a timeout called by Grambling? I feel like it was both because. I think I think Grambling had the possession, um, the possession arrow, and the uh, coach had wherewithal for that, and so called timeout immediately afterwards. That's my explanation. We'll know of it. for sure in just a second if they give Grambling the ball here, because they got the last tie up, I believe. So, or if, if it's UAPB's ball, then they're going to say it was a tie up, and then Grambling just called a timeout <laughs> after that, which is weird. I and guess they I didn't like how things were going and either way the though the over, momentum definitely on Lions side as you see the hustle and yeah, it's Grambling's ball so they must have had the possession while before they called the tie the tie uh, the tie up they called the timeout yep, but enough. still a great effort play there by Kai Richardson who will then take a break well deserved she's got a tall task keeping up with Shekyla Hill here tonight as Grambling continues to sub players in and out. Ooh. Almost got away with a travel and the pass is knocked out of bounds by Daniel. Excellent work there by Daniel, reading the play and understanding where the ball will be and being in the way of it. Kick it out high. Three is short this time. And that's gonna be a shot clock. Well, the, gonna it shouldn't be ball. a shot clock. Yeah, it's not a shot clock because the ball did hit the rim. But they called a another tie up. All right, and they're gonna give it to the Goat Lady Lions. Or not. It's just their referee's trying to figure something out here. Now they're guiding it back together and 
the Lady Tigers are going to be the ones with possession of the ball. Got to get that figured out. It seemed like Gramlin just got it twice. Mm, yes. Or they, that's, that's well, like so there was not a tie up here, but if, I feel like they've gotten it two times in a row. But there was one. There was one. One after the first tie up that we saw. Shot no good, and on the putback, there's a foul, and that's yeah. going to send Takara Parsons to the line for two here. Saris jump forward, and you can't do that when uh, your opponent is in the air, and that's what they called her for. Two shots at the line. Got to go straight up with your hands. Sean Marion as free throw. A little shot put, kind of flick it up there a little bit. I tried that for a while when I was trying to figure out my mediocre free throw game. And that's being lightly about it. And it did not work. It, it did not work. So she got one to go in, though. So that's one better than me. <laughs> the lead at six here for the late Lions with the ball. Muhammad at the scorer's table, set to check in. Harris, right side here to Bruton as they try to get in this zone here. Three right side, Totten no good. Offensive rebound, Harris. Uh, that's and going to call it for steps, yeah. but. But great work reading it off the rim by Harris. I mean, she's on fire right now. So very active, to... playing a good game. Good, good physical basketball game. Not, not. Not maybe much on the score sheet per se, but a lot of a lot of measurables, a lot of rebounds, a lot of blocks. Around the ball constantly. Exactly. So Grambling down six here. Pull up jumper, no good by Taylor. Daniel the board pushes it ahead. Nice pass, Muhammad up and under Beautiful. the score. Beautiful move by Muhammad there with the reverse layup. Now the lead is growing ever so slightly, turn by turn. The lead swells to eight here for the Lady Lions. 6.50 to play before halftime. That's a travel, I believe. Nope. They're going to call a foul. I thought she took a couple of steps there in the act of shooting, but they're going to call a foul. And two free throws coming up for Ariel Williams. That was Destiny Bruton's. They put it on the wrong side. That was Bruce's first, or the first two rather there for Williams. And the foul on Bruton. Lady Tigers enjoying the benefit of a very deep, deep rotation. And, and they're using all of it. And, and one there, by the way, as I uh, did not credit her with the basket, but scored the basket and made the free throw. So a three point play there for Williams. It was a lead down to five. Rocking five high against the 2-3 zone. Muhammad thought about it, kicks it left side. El Hassan will hit her second triple here in the first half. See, why not hit the hot hand and Hassan doing the doing the work, doing the doing the dirty work there, getting the ball up and putting it in the net for three. Second time, like you said, in this quarter. She's leading and scoring for the Lady Lions with eight here in the first half. Hill in the lane, blocked again hey. by Harris, but there's Gideon, Johnny on the spot to clean it up. Hey man, I, I don't, I don't blame Harris for being frustrated with that, but you know, sometimes it happens. It ends up in the wrong hands. Either way, though, Harris, fourth block of the game so far, and clearing out space and doing work inside. Man, it just, it just reminds me of Big Shaq, just the back down, then the turnaround, putting it in. Almost steps there. Shaq, one of my idols growing up playing basketball, I guess. <laughs> uh, he was the man. And contested, partially blocked, taken away by the Lady Lions. Bruton has three players uh, on her, and oh, another jump ball. It's going to stay with UAPV. That's but a questionable one. I don't I think mean, she had had it long enough for a tie-up. I thought I mean, possibly it was either could have been a foul or a no-call. It was either going to be a jump ball or a, or a foul or, or a travel. travel. Those, those are the three options, and they chose, the, I guess, the safest one. Bruton, pump fake, short. Forcing it. And Hill comes away with it for Grambling. Bruton's have been, uh, whoops. All right. 
Bruton's been having a problem with uh, with picking up her dribble in very inopportune spots, and then she's getting trapped on the end of it. Uh, she needs to work on just keeping the dribble alive, making sure that she's finding someone instead of just trying to force the shots. I mean, otherwise, though, she's been playing a pretty decent game. It's just one one little wrinkle that she needs to iron out. Muhammad with the basketball. Right side, El Hassan. In the corner to Muhammad. Back to Harris on the right block. Little pump fake off the glass, no good. Tried it, they tried it, you know, right into the teeth of the defense and she wasn't really doubled. Three left side, off the mark. Offensive rebound, Harris. Back to Boyd and mm. she's gonna be fouled. You know, tight rope, offensive rebound plus pass leads to foul. I mean, I like the play. I may not like the Tigers, but I like the play that they just pulled off right there. <laughs> the savvy Shakila Harris, or Shakila Hill, rather. 422 left before halftime. Lady Lions still up by 827-19. And Jasmine Boyd will shoot two as she misses the first. Oh, Hanta and Richardson walk coming in along with Shana Hatter. Shania Hatter. Shania Hatter. We had some, had some pronunciation corrections after our first game club ups, and I, me included. And for the record, it is Trocity Totten. You weren't with me on the last game with Alcorn where I made these corrections, but you're back with me tonight, so yes. I want to make sure we get the names uh, correctly. Of course, you'll help me with the men's game, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Still there as Muhammad was trying to create. Nice pass by Hill. And that's a big foul right there. Just a runaway train. Someone get catch the number of that truck. I guess it. <laughs> get the plate number. <laughs> Free yeah, throws. I, I found the number, it was three. <laughs> <laughs> Justice Coleman will shoot two here as that foul by Murdoch. Tiffany Murdoch. I believe a moment ago I said Muhammad. It was Murdoch. My apologies. We're working on it. We'll be sure it up by the end. Get it right here in a minute. First shot is good. Beautiful work. 27 21 now with just under four to play before halftime. Strong on the second. And Ohanta has the rebound. Now it looks like on defense they're rocking a 1-3-1. Pass stolen. Good hands there by Boyd. And they'll set it up here. Open jumper right side, no good. That's a reach in, no call. Taylor's gonna just keep playing with it. She'll go all the way off the glass. Beautiful. Absolutely great move by Taylor. Euro into the top top part of the back, uh, backboard. Puts it right in. Uh, Taylor, they gave El Hassan the basket, but that was, I believe that was Taylor. That was Noel Taylor officially. Uh, they had said El Hassan, but it was Taylor and she's, She's been doing well as well today. Yes, she has. There's a three off to right, no good. Taylor now the rebound. Ooh, man, coming out of nowhere and just volleyball spiking it out of bounds. I mean, that was a hard pass to spike. <laughs> it could have been a finger jammer right there. Well, the court side seats over there, you hold on to your beverage. Oh well, man, no doubt about it. Your nachos could be in your lap real quick. Man, no one likes a no one likes a, a helping a cheese lap right there. A plate of nachos, yes, but a lap of nachos, not nah, so much. I mean, I'll still eat it, but the fact <laughs> of the matter is, <laughs> it, it's not ideal, you know. 
got to clean it up somehow, and that's a waste of food. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> three second rule. It's kind of hard. On the to lap deal is with. three like, second rule. On the floor, eh, eh, eh. well, the cheese, it's all messy. I mean, that's a whole. That's a bathroom trip and a change of clothes. That's a whole thing there. I mean, you know, it's one of those things you got to deal with sometimes. Here's Mohammed and she bank it in as the bank is open late on the weekends. I like her hours. Yes, absolutely. Great banker from the three-point line. 32-21, lead up to 11, the biggest of the game so far with 2.36 to go here in the first. Steady rocking that 2-3. Step back, short on the jumper. And they're doing the 2-3 because they don't trust, the, uh, they don't respect their long-range jumper game. Richardson, try it again. A little two-man game here. Set it back up, 15 on the shot clock. Mohamed, top of the key. Ohanto take the shot, in and out, no good. That's normally your bread and butter. I'm surprised she missed it. I mean, you got to miss some of them some of the time, but that's one of those open ones you got to hit on. Three right side, too strong. Chased it down in the corner. Look at Hill with the hustle play. So Grambling will reset it here, down by 11. Flashing in the lane, jumper short, Ohanta. Disrupted by a hatter. Richardson nice. pushing it. Hatter, she'll take the jumper and rims out. She'll hit that more often than not. Ooh, in the lane. That's a, that's a tomahawk. A hatter just swallowed that shot <laughs> and <laughs> had the, the foul bench call, was like, all right, sure. I, yeah, that's fair enough. That was, that was uh, one of those. I mean, it was one of those brain chops. Come straight down with it. Missed the ball. Caught the face. So no easy buckets down low. You can at least say that. First shot is good for Shakila Hill. Held her in check with just three points here in the first half as. She is their top player. The southpaw from Little Rock hits the second. Well, great job keeping Chicago Hill in check. You know, you always go after the opponent's best weapons and make it weak. How have they done that? 2-3 zone, keep her from the inside, force her to make tough shots. And a steal, there she is again. Several steals. Look at the handles, the spin, but missed it. And a foul's gonna be called over the back that time on Alexis Williams of Grambling, I believe, or, well, Mohammed thought it was gonna be on Grambling, but oh, now it is. It was a little, a little uh, disparity there in the call with the officials, but they got it right. Nice steal, beautiful handles, move, and Hill did everything but finish. Kind of the Riley from Dude Boondocks. Uh, Thing. Has all the moves except for the finish right there. So Lady Lions up nine with the basketball here. A minute to go before halftime. Aggressively trapping, trying to trying to force a turnover again. In the corner, Mohammed spots up for three, no good. And Grambling comes away with the rebound, a reach in foul and transition here. <laughs> Just sure, why not? Up from 40 not? feet, no big deal. Why not? I mean, you know, chances are taken. We'll, we'll work on that. She may need yeah, it. This is here a Steph Curry special, isn't it? The, the oh, he loves, oh, I got he's, <laughs> he's very good at that. He'll lay it up from half court and try to. <laughs> he's done that. Uh, he did that in last year's finals, I believe. They got a one that. up at halftime of an All Star game. Uh, I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before, but he nailed it. He, he probably practices that. I mean, he's just so talented. You know, I wish I, I wish I had a dad who just taught me how to throw balls that end up in buckets anywhere in the world. I feel like if he, I feel like he's the best at trash for ball, honestly. <laughs> Probably the best shooter I've ever, ever seen, seen. In, uh, in the history of the. NBA. He don't make them all. I mean, he's a volume shooter, but he makes a lot of them. I'll there do some over none. 32-25, picked and stolen again. Look at Shakila Hill. All the way for the two. You know what? They've been held, hold, keeping her in check on offense, but on defense is a whole different matter. Well, now you can see how she got those 10 steals in a game. Definitely. As that's about her fourth or fifth here in the first half. 
Ooh. Couldn't get the bounce on the three for El Hassan. And they've sliced into this lead now. They were up 11, now there's only up five. And holding for the last shot will be Grambling. Big opportunity here to get momentum going into halftime. Five seconds left, Hill trying to squeeze a pass in the lane, deflected, but the jumper is gonna be good by Ariel Williams. And a little spurt there by Grambling to close out the first half, cutting that 11 point lead down to three at the break. We'll step aside, have second half coming up for you shortly. 32-29, Lady Lions lead it over Grambling State at the break.
second half as well. Uh, driving the lane, looking for the shot, doesn't get it. Ohanta on the rebound there. Now it's a Lyon for the group to bring it up here. And Lyon playing a pretty solid first half, looking to build off of that minus that run by Grambling to close out the half. And there's a turnover. That was one of those things that led to that run at the end of the first half. Turnover. They've been doing a good job forcing them. Getting in the throwaway and the steal by Mohammed. It's a booty. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wrong sport. That's a, <laughs> that's a move. It's, it's, it's viable. You give up a little bit of possession, but I mean, you stop the easy bucket. I, I haven't seen that done personally. I mean, pr uh, purposefully before. That's a move. Inbound to Ohanta. Missed shot, gets her own rebound, out to Muhammad for Upgrade. three. Upgrade, that's what that is. You know, you had a shot, you shot at two, missed that one, pick it up for three, try it again. 35-29. Lady Lions up six. A little crossover in the lane, tough shot, no good. Good rebound, Gideon. Oh, Muhammad and um, and give me a second on that. And partially, Lady Lions will come away with oh. some microphone difficulties there. Pop it a bit. Hopefully, y'all didn't hear it in the YouTube community. But as I was trying to say, uh, Muhammad and Taylor were the real hot hands coming from the behind the arc in the first half. John so. Taylor Harris with that last basket. She's got eight in the game and the lead back to eight here. Five to shoot for Grambling. They'll fire a three in the corner and hit Jasmine Boyd. Not going away either. Justice Coleman. Yeah, it was Coleman, rather, on the three. Working on Working on Back to a five-point game. Here's Harris. Looking for the little high-low dump down. Nice cut to the basket. Beautiful. Taylor scores and a beautiful assist by Sean Taylor Harris. Sean Taylor Harris with the pass in stride. Quick one. Don't say one and done, but they do get the offensive rebound. A quick shot. And the shot clock there for Grambling, but it does result in offensive rebound and foul shots coming up here for Shakila Hill. You know, I've been praising Harris a little bit too much. People are going to think I'm impartial. So the one bit of the foul shot. So just sure that up a bit, and then we'll be in business. Otherwise, she's been playing a very excellent game so far. Hill misses the first shot. And she had a nice first half, a little slow starting in the first half, but finished with eight points, seven rebounds, and five steals as she's working on a, another triple-double. Makes the shot here. And she To make. I mean, Harris gave you the extra pass. <laughs> He's giving a little, come on, man, you got to get that on the way back there. But I feel like they'll, they'll be sure up sooner enough. It's been about four or five of those, just like the last one. With Lady Lions, as the paint shot goes for Grambling. No one came up to guard. Uh, a bit of confusion on defense. Alexis Williams, her first two, and now a steal. And the foul called, so a little sloppy with the basketball there. Yeah, you know, the pressure, ha the, the straight up pressure game hasn't been working out for Gremlin as they planned around it. So they're doing like a three quarter pressure 
And that's what led to that steal. Taken away, and there is Hill again. Oh. That throws it off the back of Bruton. That's a, a move. Smart play. That's a move. Tested shot, hitting the floor, drawing the foul as Alexis Williams. Yeah, Sean Taylor Harris came forward with the arms, and that's not something you can do. You got to go straight up. Uh, if you make contact when they go straight up, that means they came into you, so it's not the onus is not on you 90% of the time. However, she leaned forward a bit with the hands, and that's up the three for opportunity. Lead cut down to three now. Both free throws going in this time, and that's a rarity for this game. You haven't seen two free throws go in uh, all game long today. So. Oh, nice steal. Took it right out of the air like a defensive back. Parsons all the way down. She'll shoot two, and the defensive pressure causing problems right now for Coach Kilbert's ball club as we're down two-point game, 5.50 to play period. Not easy. Let them have space because they have ball handling problems. Let them run into trap. And so they try and not put the ball on the ground. That's what's happening. They're taking advantage of long pass attempts. And they have the bunnies to do that. They've been able to, they've been able to leap. Second shot and we're tied. 39 all, 5, 50 to play. Now they turn it up to full. Daniel, long pass ahead. Good turnover. Not a good pass there by Daniel. Neil chased it down for the steal, and Grambling can take the lead here. Missing the shot. And that's gonna be over the back. Foul on the rebound, and that's gonna go against Kyla Hill. You know, Kai Richardson, of someone like that, especially she positionally gets in front of you, and that's what she's been doing all day. You know. You gotta be really careful about that. More pressure here by Grambling. And the takeaway by Neal. Little crossover off the glass too strong. Muhammad, the rebound. He sees it. Now they get the half court. They'll set it up out high. Here's the Lady Lions had to work real hard just to get it across. That pressure's been tough by Grambling Bang. and oh Sean Taylor God. Harris. A little Hits. bit of KG, a little bit of Shaq, a little bit of everything there. Long two there for Harris. She's got 10 in the game. Step back. And was Jumper. there contact made? Got her uh, got her say on the shot. And she's going to shoot two. That's going to be yeah. Alexis Williams. That was a bit more ticky-tack than necessary that time. Minimal contact on that play, but... Got a media timeout here. We'll step aside. 4.56 to play third period. 41-39. Lady Lions up by a deuce right back in a moment. <laughs> Watch out.
and here we are again, looking to get back on the way after the media timeout. 4.56 left, 41-39 the score for the Lady Lions uh, after their, their media timeout. Grambling is going to take their free, free throw shots. The lady taking it is Alexis Williams, who's had an excellent game today. So far, hits one. And that cuts the lead down to one. They, they, they can tie the game up if she hits one here. Spins at the knees and puts it up. Too strong and Sean Taylor, Sean Taylor Harris able to give it, pick up the rebound. Kai Richardson up top looking to set things up. Puts it outside. Uh, Hansen. Looking for the cutback, doesn't get it. It's gonna be stolen, or look at the scrappy play there by El Hansen. And she's able to keep possession of the ball off the jump ball arrow. We're waiting on a confirmation from the referee, and it is going to be the Lady Lions ball. Richardson. Setting up at the top, only 10 seconds on the shot clock. They have to force one. Trying to drive the lane. On the wing now, one second, puts it up, and does get the rim. Avoids the shot clock violation, but it's gonna be picked up by Boyd. Boyd now gonna drive the lane. Around Harris, but just not able to get the ball in. It's gonna be cleaned up by Monisha Neal. Richardson. To Muhammad, Muhammad back to Richardson again. Now they're gonna actually set up on top. Richardson looking for El Hansen to Harris. Harris on the elbow, mishandled pass. And again, this time, Harris on the Tiger side, stuffed, is gonna go out of bounds off of Muhammad. Thanks Tyrese, as I'm back here. I think I did a and fairly good job, didn't I? I wasn't listening, but I know that you <laughs> always do a good job, so I'm sure that it was very, All right, you know I'm sure that it was very good. <laughs> I'll listen on the playback. No problem, no problem. But I'm sure you did a great job. 42-41, that's... I'm not if, crying on if not the first, If that's not the first lead for Grambling, that's the first since... Since the first uh, quarter. A couple of minutes, I feel like yeah, this is the was, first lead. They've been really tying it most of the time. It was seven to seven. It was seven to six. Grambling early, I believe, because yeah, it stayed on seven to six for quite a while before oh, yes, a free was. throw tied it at seven. But that's the first lead since then. And Grambling, after the missed free throw there, leads it now by two, 43-41. But this may be their largest lead here of the game by two, and they were down by 11 late in the first half. So Lady Lions got to get it going here. Tough contested jumper. Woohoo! Straight up. Right in the eye hole. Beautiful. Catherine Darden hits a tough contested. High pressure. Shot there. 43 all and a much needed bucket for the Gold Lions. And off the glass, nice dish and score there for Alexis Williams. And, and that's not something they needed. Yeah, the turnovers have been rough here in the third quarter. 2.55 to play. Oh boy. And underneath, and it's going to be another. Let's see. Let's see who they're going to call this one on. 2.51 to play here in the third. 45 43. And the second foul of the game. Yeah, that one's going to be on El Hassan and to the line for El two Hassan. shots. Jesus. I said El Hansen this entire time. El Hassan. El Hassan. And first shot is good for DeRay Taylor. She's a 5'7 junior out of Reserve, Louisiana. Yeah, you know, it wasn't a real easy one. It's the Reserve one. They have it on the side, just in case. But <laughs> either way, she's been very active on defense. She's gotten a number of steals this game. This is Grambling State's largest lead here, 47-43 to 43 over Arkansas Pine Bluff. And it's the stuff like that that has caused it. Another steal, but Grambling is going to give it right back with 2.43 to play here in the third. And Lady Lions down by four, going to have to 
turn the tide, get the momentum shifted back on their side here. And it's been an old devil that they've had to deal, demon they had to deal with, and that's that pressure, that full court pressure. Richardson ahead, that time they do a good job. Pull up jumper is good by El Hassan, and she's got 12 in the game, leading all scores for UAPB. Set the baseball passes, setting up that one. That's one of the ways you can break pressure, ball movement. And a foul is going to be called. Two shots coming up here for Grambling's Ariel Williams. With 2.21 to go here in the third, and the Lady Lions battling here tonight against Grambling State and had the game in control for a, a good long while. Yeah, and then all of a sudden that pressure. They turned it up and, you know, it's one of those things that they've struggled with this entire season, full court pressure. Uh, they, they be very, they end up turning it, the ball over a lot more often when they have to deal with it. They get very loose with the ball. Missed the second. El Hassan will try to beat the pressure here. Daniel just across midcourt. Lady Lions down three. Bruton trying to cut into that, and she's going to get called for a charge. Bruton trying to force the situation. She's been rather cold all game long. Uh, only two points in this game so far. And so she's trying to just get herself hot again. And that's one of the ways to try to do try to get to the line, but that time foiled by Monisha Neal. Baseline drive, nice pass, and the two was a little too strong there on the effort by Williams. So Bruton will push it ahead here for Pine Bluff. Needs some help. Step through pass, and Daniel Beautiful. scores underneath. Great awareness by Bruton, knowing where Daniels was and able to get the ball up and in. Here's Monisha Neal. Top of the key, wide open three and connects. Ariel Williams drains the triple and a four point lead here for Grambling, 51 47. The Lions, the Lions were content with playing ping pong. Again, Going wrong sport. We've had kickball, ping pong. <laughs> Going back and forth over and over again. Uh, but that one right there was a huge three pointer by Grambling, and now they have a lot more work to do. 110 to play here in the third. Rocket pass off the inbound, no good. And oh, we have an inadvertent whistle or a late whistle or a quiet whistle. One of the, one of the above one of the there. Whistles. <laughs> he, he knows he messed up a little bit there. It was just a little squeak. It wasn't like the full whistle. Yeah, I think it was because of that block. And actually, it's going to be a foul. Or a little chirp of the whistle there. And they called it on Daniel over the back. That was a good pass on the inbound. That was a really good pass. It was a laser uh, right to the spot. And then the, the, the it was just the execution. The finish was not as good as you would expect from Richardson. Really, really good game so far. But she seems to have cooled off just a bit. comes the Lady Lions. 53-47, 105 to play. Here in the third, as Murdoch's got it now. Good pressure there by Boyd. Looking for the backdoor cut. Need some help with it, Darden. Right side to Bruton. And Gonna have a little push. Gonna go on Ariel Williams of Grambling. That's gonna be their fourth. One of those street ball Third taxes, foul, rather. Bit. A little, little hand check. A little handsy. Check. Can't get too handsy out here. Nice pass, Murdoch on the inbound, misses the easy shot inside again. How many times have mm. we said that today? Pull up, 
Long two, no good. Knocked out of bounds to Pine Bluff. Beautiful. Now, that was a good move there. It was, a, it was an either way kind of call. Good job by the referee to see that it was our ball. Now Bruton's going to be up top. 53-47. Down by six with the ball here. Lady Lions trying to pull a little closer. It's late third quarter. Here's Bruton. A little hesitation dribble and another, another reach in foul. Yeah, on Grambling. That's the fourth team foul. Not quite in the bonus section yet, but Coach. Bruton needs help. Gets it in to Darden. Shot clock is off. Can hold for the final shot. I don't think they will. Bruton. Inside. Nice Beautiful. find and finish drop for the step. Lady Lions. Catherine Darden, the bucket. Darden, drop step up and under. The assist by Bruton. Long three by Williams. A high arcing three is off the mark, and that's the end of the third quarter. Grambling State leading the Lady Lions of UAPB by a score of 53-49. Right back with the fourth quarter right after this. Action 49-53 is your score. Tyree Spoon and also the boy, Tim Stokes. How you doing? Calling the game, having some fun. This game is a real close one. It could come back down to who gets the ball last. It's one of those, it was one of those games that could go either way. But Grambling ahead by five, or what's that, four. My math skills, not as good as they once were. <laughs> well, Tyrese, there's help for that. Yeah. It's called calculation. <laughs> <laughs> Your best friend. Grambling State will inbound it. Leading by four here. Get some updated stats for you here in just a moment. Kick out, shot clock down at 12. Patient in their set here is Grambling. Neil. Fires it out, long three, left side, will not go. Contested. Yep, Great Ashley job. Daniel for the rebound there. Now let's see if Bruton can get her game back in the control. Darden needs help, goes to the floor with him and passes it. El Hassan hits oh the three right goodness. side. And there's the hot hand of Hassan. And is uh, oh, a little bit of tripped up there at the backcourt. But still, great shot there. She's been on fire from deep all game long. And they might look to see that, uh, to utilize that further. And she's got 15 in the game now. Lady Lions pulled it within one. Shot clock at eight. Hill will fire the three, rims out. And it's going to be Lady Lions Lion ball. ball yep. So. Despite the, uh, the, what's it called, the contesting, the protest by Edward Williams is still going to be Lions ball. Oh, that's an unforced error right there. That's, that was unforced error there on the inbound by Daniels. Daniel, my fault. With 8.44 to play, it's getting tight. Yeah. Down to winning time here in the fourth, right? Exactly, and in winning time, you cannot have unforced errors. That's one of the banes of any team's existence when it comes to trying to 
come on on top in the game. Let's see how they recover. Nice pass, Neal to Gideon. It's too strong off the glass, but another offensive rebound leads to an open three, and... They have not been that successful from three. Hill off the rebound inside. Neal misses again, and a travel it is on That's Neal. some good, solid defense from the Lady Lions. You know, honestly, you don't like to see that many offensive rebounds in a row. They had like three or four in that one play, but still... They were able to keep their hands up, straight up, not foul, which is important, especially in this point in the game. And they were able to get, a, get possession back. And, but again. Another steal as oh. Bruton's holding that right ankle. Let's hope she's okay. A foul called here on the other end. And she is in some kind of pain here as the trainers are out to take a look at her. But it, it, it didn't look good. It was kind of how she felt. Grabbing that right ankle immediately. Went for the crossover, ball ended up behind her, and she kind of landed oddly on that right ankle. And yeah, you see they're trying to get her up and out. Gruden, very strong player. And you hate to see this on any team, but especially on the, the Golden Lions. A strong player, a very vital player to the squad. Her ability to uh, her ability to drive the ball in the lane and dish it out. But hopefully the lady runs in the corner and hopefully hopefully she is okay. But we're gonna get back into the game. 52-53 is the score. Lady Lions trailing by one. A uh, little over eight in the Mike Hopefully check, test, testing one, two, Mike check. As we try to work on some audio problems courtside here. Not sure if that's any better or not. 55-52, Grambling State with the lead and the Lady Lions turn it. Turning the ball over yeah. like it is free tickets to the Machine Gun Kelly concert. Or I had no real actual. <laughs> Actual metaphor there, but either way. <laughs> I haven't got any updated stats in a while. Could use some. That'd be nice, but you know, ink is a problem. Oh, we got it fixed. Oh, yeah, ink okay. problems. Yeah, we're legit. We're all inked up tonight. Okay, that's good. I'm glad. We just need the stat sheet no, over here where Neil. we can read it. Yeah, well, Nisha and Neil hitting from beyond the arc. There. There, I can tell you one thing off the top of the head, though. The Tigers, the Lady Tigers, have not done so well behind the arc. But another, defensively. Yeah, another turnover here in Grambling. Excellently. Missing it. And a timeout called by UAPB as they want to talk things over they, after they the it. sloppy ball handling and give Grambling some credit, turning up the pressure. and. That's, that's how you do it. When, you know, if you're going to game plan against the Lady Lions, there's only there's two things you normally, normally hear about. Pressure and turnovers. That's like, that's like the, the formula, I guess. And they've really figured that out. When the pressure gets turned up, they get really, really loose with the football. And that's not something you want to do. You have to really tighten it up, either get, some, get the ball on the ground, try to, try to work your way out by dribbling or Sure up the passing game. Neither has happened. They tried the passing route and it just has not worked out so far. As you see, the dance squad for the M4, the cheerleading squad, putting in work on the sideline excellently.
there goes the buzzer. 7.09 left in the game. 52-58. Tigers lead. Lady Tigers lead by six. Uh, Hanson Richardson. Chantela Harris, who's having, a, who's having an excellent day today. And also, Tiffany Murdoch making an appearance right now for the Lady Lions. Able to work the ball back up court. And now they've gotten into half court, but it's just the pressure does not stop as the Lady Tigers for, go the ball up, and it's going to be rejected by El Hassan. 58-52 with 6.52 to play. And Did we ever get those stats? Was no. that, is that what you have in your hand? Okay, that's that, not what they're old hand. stats. Need some new ones. Try to get their attention across the court, but they're backdoor cut and easy two for Grambling and Chicali Hill with 12 in the game after that basket and the lead up to eight, their largest. Here we go, we got our stats. You ask for it, we get it. And another steal. And I wanted to see these turnovers for one thing, and there's another one there. And a steal by Murdoch right back. That's eighth turnover for Grambling with the Lady Lions with 27 turnovers. And, that and that's it. Yeah, 28 turnovers, and this is a scoop. No good by Hill. Lady Lions right back. But with 27 turnovers, Lady Lions only down by eight. But turnovers have been really the X factor against exactly. UAPB for sure. Exactly. It's it's honestly not it's not great. It's not great, honestly. If they weren't doing so well defensively, they would be losing by a lot more than they are right now. So 60 to 52. Lady Lions will inbound it with 6.03 to play. Down by eight. They've shared the basketball well. Lady Lions with 15 assists to Grambling seven. But the turnovers have been the, the eyesore here that's really plagued the Lady Lions. Richardson thought about the three inside and a knock away from behind there by Hill and leads to an open jumper on the other end. No good for Grambling State. That was Taylor who missed the shot. Here is the Lady Lions, Taylor, getting tied up. It's going to stay with Pine Bluff with 5.30 to go. I feel like that thing's broken. I feel like that's put pointed the same direction all game long. But um, I don't remember seeing it change. <laughs> but either way, though, Lady Lions ball. Knocked away and going to have to chase it down in the backcourt. And they're really playing pressure defense. And Gideon's going to get called for the reach in. But the blocking foul on Gideon that time. 5.15 to go. 52-60, Tigers lead. They've really, they've really held on to that 60 points. I mean, there's no buckets that's been scored in the past couple minutes. Richardson with it right side, works her way in the lane here. Mohammed for three, no good. But five minutes to go. Grambling stay with the basketball up by eight. Mohammed had a couple free three pointers in the first half. Starting out cold, going into the fourth. They're going to need that hot hand if they want to come back, cut into this lead. Neil, she'll pull the three, no good. Another offensive rebound. And open jumper by Taylor, no good. Good defense by Harris on that play. So Richardson will bring it up. Down by eight here for Pine Bluff. Time is not on the Lady Lions side right now. They need to hit something now. Long two, Ohanta hits. And that's where you go to the heart of this team. I believe that's what you said the first game. She's Ohanta. got six as she continues to find her rhythm again, returning back to the team. and. 
And no Pulls one's the game. bothering. A right, timeout's gonna be called here by Grambling with four minutes to play. Lady Lions within six, 60 to 54, and they need a win in a big way. They do. I mean, the record is not the best right now for the Lady Lions. You know, we talk about the, the men's Lions team going 7-0, and and that's very impressive, especially for a, a Golden Lions squad. I mean, this is one of the more successful starts we've had in recent years for the men's Lions team. The women's Lions, uh, the Lady Lions, really want to emulate that as best they can. They've been struggling with the pressure, and uh, I feel like any team worth their salt will uh, look at that and like, all right, they, they probably haven't figured that out yet, so let's do it ourselves. I mean, I feel like every team they've played has played the same game with them, and they've, at points in time, been able to cut through it, but, uh, but sometimes like we get things like that happen in the past, uh, the past four minutes, which was constant looseness with the ball, losing possession on the dribble, oh, firing long passes that are unnecessary or off target. That's one of those are some of the things that the Lady Lions have to deal with. As I got to get out my jacket because it's so warm in here. <laughs> but I do look nice in this tie. <laughs> Feeling yourself over here? A little bit. A little okay, bit. okay. A little bit. Nothing wrong with that. 60 to 54 on the inbound. Less than 10 on the shot clock. They gotta force something here. It's gonna be Hill, top of the key. Nice dish inside off the glass and scoring is Alexis Williams. Hill has been everywhere this game, scoring, defending, dishing. Lady Lions need something. That's and Noel Taylor on the drive is gonna be fouled. Gonna get a reach in on Hill. It's going to be her third. And third team foul on Grambling. Not a really foul heavy game today, as we've seen uh, in the past few games. So that's one th good thing that you can take from this for the Lady Lions. Richardson on the inbound to Ahanta, now to Harris. Harris going to get called for Kyle a travel. And with the step. you got to hit the, you got to hit the ball first. Got to hit the ground first. She was trying to hit that shack mode that she was doing in the first quarter or first half. Uh, I guess that's one, one of the moves Shaq had to get used to when he was growing up. Just over three to play in this one. Grambling up by eight and the basketball in control here. Hill driving the lane, the little floater off the glass, no good. And Muhammad clears it. For Lady Lions on the run out, Ohanta is going to be fouled. And, and if there is a, if there is ever a time to not be as poor from the foul line right now, is right now. Actually, actually, you know they have not done well off the foul line, and it's coming back to bite them right now, for sure. Ohanta setting up. Well, you see the crowd really filling in. And there a lot of anticipation for this. Lions versus Tigers rivalry. We 256 to play in this one, and it's eight point lead for Grambling State as we get late into this game. Well, Hansa knocking Second down shot. Yeah, that's both of them. She's got seven in the game, I believe. And we gave her one there, 62-55. As they work the clock a little bit on this possession. They'll take the open jumper. There's still eight on the shot clock, missing it. Not really the shot that Grambling wanted there. A little bit rushed. They had time. But now Richardson trying to lead the squad back in their winning ways. Nice pass, Muhammad off the glass, Beautiful. Taylor scores. These are clutch moves now, time is ticking down. These are the type of plays that you wanna see. Taylor now with eight in the game. 
Cuts it to a five-point game, two to play. Pull-up jumper is good in the lane by Justice Coleman. No one challenged Coleman when she drove in, and that's what happens. You know, you just stop and pop. They're going to need a three-point in the next couple of possessions. Richardson, the crossover. Beautiful crossover by Richardson. Tough jumper is contested and partially blocked out of bounds. Going to go to Grambling. Yeah, Richardson has that size disadvantage over everyone on the floor right now. And that's, you know, that's one of those things you got to challenge yourself with, find interesting ways to try to get the ball up and over. Coleman, turnover. Going to go back to the Lady Lions with 127 to play. Not a lot of time at all. 64-57, seven-point game. Each possession so precious at this point. They need something quick now. Behind the back, nicely done. The wrap around Ooh, what a pass. pass by Richardson, but mishandled. Couldn't handle it. Missed opportunity, but a nice play there, nevertheless, by Kai Richardson. Around, behind, through. She's finding interesting ways to use her size to her advantage, kind of like a uh, Wesley-type player. And nice hands in the lane, stolen here by Ohanta. And ah. another turnover. It has plagued the Lady Lions all night, especially in the second half. Got to lead those passes. Up now to... 30 turnovers for the game, and that has not a recipe for victory. Yeah, that might have been the dagger. They needed that pass to work out, and it just, it just didn't. And so now with 47.4 seconds to go in the game, not a lot of time to work. They need a steal to give them a shot. So Grambling with the ball up seven. Yeah. And Hill will work it back. Out high near midcourt. There's not, a, there's not a lot Lady of. Lady Lions going to have to foul. Yeah. I mean, the lead's a little bit large to start fouling, but they're, they've been not as good on the free throw line uh, as just, you'd like. The clock's just melting away here. And they're going to get an easy two on top of wasting about 20 seconds off the clock. So. That's. And still showing pressure. Or Don't give them a chance. Grambling State. Lead at nine, the largest of the game here for Grambling. A three by Ohanta, no good. Seven seconds left, and Grambling will travel. <laughs> they were kind of both fighting over the ball there and caught a travel, so UAPB will get it back. But 5.9 seconds left, but. At this point, is a little bit, you know, it's, it's uh, what's it called? Formality. Impossible. I mean, I use, I, I use better words <laughs> than that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Uh, and it's going to be stolen. Another steal and a, another turnover. How fitting. And that's the ball game. And Lady Lions in the second half, just too many turnovers. And it really cost them the game. Yeah. Uh, our final score is 66-57. Grambling State wins it over the Lady Lions. For our crew here tonight, Randy Kelly. our director, and our top shots by Frederick Price and Tristan Hall, and under the goal, Kiana Austin, and for Tyrese Boone. For Tyrese Boone, I'm Tim Stubbs. We're gonna push the pause button for now, but we'll have men's action coming up for you. The 7-0 Golden Lions set to take on the 4-3 Grambling State Tigers here coming up shortly. Until then, goal Lions.